Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include 50,000 child benefit claims are being received from abroad. The EU brings in a ban on animal testing for cosmetics. Drugnet, EU highlights concerns over illegal drug trading via the internet. EU Commission wants to impose restrictions to help protect bees. Also, more hands to the printing press as Saab rocks up for a bailout. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up from our homepage, this article has caused uproar as it was discovered that the UK benefits are being paid out to thousands of children who live in Poland. Further exacerbation were exhorted when it was also proposed that borders soon to open with Romania and Bulgaria would only increase the number of claims. Fear not, however. Ever ready Euro Mint frontman and holder of the ECB charge card, Mr Draghi will no doubt have a solution for Britain. Why not join the Euro? Then we can print as much fiat currency as you need on my shiny Heidelbergs. Protecting the diverse flora and fauna of the planet is an important task that we have been entrusted with. This article looks at the European Union's recent ban on the import and sale of cosmetics and or ingredients that have been tested on animals. This article has the full story and the links are below. The EU reports that a growing online market is developing for illegal drugs. Apparently, almost any kind of illegal drug can be bought online and delivered directly to your door. I suppose it brings a whole new meaning to the term eBay. OK, so what's the deal with this piece of news? Deal? Yes, pun intended. This is more rhetoric that can be later used to back up a legislative attack on digital freedoms and will be used to justify internet controlling legislation and ultimately silence your voice. As always, our researchers will be watching and waiting for the draft legislation. I reported last year about concerns over honeybee populations. Concerns over the impact that genetically modified crops could be having as certain pest-resistant crops might actually be resulting in honeybee decline. The European Food Safety Authority has mandated that agri-pesticides pose an acute risk to the honeybee population. The Commission is looking to impose a two-year ban on certain pesticides. I think that the impact of honeybee colony collapse cannot be overstated as it could ultimately result in massive crop failures and devastating famines. It is clear from the alternative media that genetically modified products pose a real and present danger and this legislation highlights those concerns. Well, it certainly looks like the European Global Adjustment Fund has well and truly blown its budget. More Latvian firewood for the Heidelbergs, Mr Draghi. We need another 5 million of your post-festive fiat currency for our poor comrades in Sweden. Yes, Swedish car manufacturer Saab is in the queue at the European Commission's equivalent to the Sally Army soup kitchen, the EGF. Indeed, Dr Eric Edmonds spoke only last night of the devastating impact the Eurozone's economic implosion was having on the European car market, and it looks like Saab has become a victim too. Full details of the funding are in our legislation section, and the links are below. Today in our video library, this latest video from Associate Press TV looks at the devastation that is getting next to no media coverage from the BBC and other mainstream media outlets. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with you in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.